uh, it is important uh, that we know we all know about you know vac injections but very few of us actually give injections you know mostly in hospitals the staff nurses or paramedical staff give injections uh, so although we may have tried giving injections but many times we are not confident you know and we should be knowing a bit about the injection techniques you know what does it mean to for the first image that you see here is im intramuscular injection and when you we know commonly it is uh, given i'm talking about other intramuscular injection in the gluteal region in the deltoid region and many times i have seen people staff who will give it at a angle of you know 45 60 but always remember that im injection should be given at 90 degree from the skin this is 90 degrees intramuscular subcutaneous is uh, something that you give at the angle of 45 and you see the structure of the skin the skin then subcutaneous tissue and in muscle so intramuscular it should go into muscle and in subcutaneous it should go below skin but it should not be in the muscles and how do you give subcutaneous injection you pinch the skin and then you make a angle of 45 degrees and prick it and then how to give a uh, subcutaneous uh, sorry uh, intradermal intradermal is within the dermis the most superficial uh, level of our body which is intradermal so you see uh, montox test is done like this and similarly bcg has to be given like this and Uh, you can see a bleb is formed and the angle is of 15 degrees so intradermal is of 15 degree subcutaneous is of 45 degrees and it is in subcutaneous tissue and intramuscular goes directly into muscle and it has to be given uh, 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 at 90 degree vertical and similarly you know uh, what are the injection sites so again you can intradermal uh, subcutaneous and intramuscular and level of skins and uh, when you give uh, intravenous you see you go into vein vein you palpate a vein you feel it you look for it and you go directly into vein. and when you try to give im it should not be going into vein so it is very important when you prick you try to draw out and you make sure that there is no blood and then only you prick and give the intramuscular so it is defined regions we know deltoid and gluteus region for normal injection but for vaccines we will talk about it where to give so the uh, you know common sites uh, among infant is uh, uh, lateral part of the thigh so if the child is below one years of age if you are giving injections better to give in the lateral part of the thigh uh, the area is as you can see in this it is called vastus lateralis and this is the injection site and and this is how the mother should or the attendant should be holding the baby and this site is uh, recommended for children or pediatric age group below one year of age between 1 year to 3 years it can be given both in deltoid as well as in the thigh lateral part of the thigh but 3 years and above it is given in deltoid region so important to remember below 1 year it is in the thigh lateral part of thigh this is vastus lateralis and then between 1 years to 3 years it can be given both deltoid as well as in thigh but if they are older children uh, it is better to give in deltoid uh, once you know uh, many times you know some some of the injections may cause local pain for example even dpt you know once i give uh, someone and the child started limping because of the pain so it was not a limping or injury but because of the local uh, swelling and pain the child had a difficulty in standing and walking so at that time parents may worry and it is better always to give deltoid preferably if the child is grown up and older children will always have some kind of you know uh, you know uh, uh, 
some some you know fever pain local uh, you know uh, swelling and all these kind of problems and it is better to give at uh, uh, for injections it is advisable always to give it on the non dominant side of the child because if there is some side effect or you know anything uh, uh, local problem or you know then if there is loss of limb it is of the non dominant side not of the dominant side so this is a you know general principle which is taught to all students nursing students about injectable sites so uh, how to locate fastus lateralis so you, you can you can all feel the greater trochanter in the hip region then patella all of us can be identified and you can see the area exactly in the area where you can give uh, injection in the thigh for the vaccine purpose even for other purpose im injections can be given in thigh for children and how to identify the deltoid region because many times we are worried uh, especially when we are pricking a child that you know uh, needle may go deep or child may be hurt but normally vaccines uh, you know the needles which are used for vaccine most of them are uh, ready made and they are very you know uh, fine their size is small and they are manufactured in a way that it will not harm the child so when you are pricking the thigh uh, don't worry because the needle is manufactured like that and you need not to worry about it so again just for our revision purpose this is how you identify the deltoid uh, uh, muscle injectable site so you see scapula uh, acromion process deltoid muscle area humerus axillary fold and this is exactly the injection site it should be given deltoid tuberosity and this is where exactly it should not be given here here it should be given exactly here so uh, uh, i talked last time when we were discussing about the adult vaccination and it is important to see how vaccines look like what vaccines look like so you see this is dpt plus hepatitis b on this vaccine it is produced by serum institute of india so in what name they came what they look like what whether they are pre filled or ready made or whether you have to reconstitute dissolve information only can be you know uh, we should be uh, we can do properly when we know and then only we can do it so i'll just try to uh, show you some of the uh, uh, vaccine so this is you know, three brands of pneumococcal vaccine uh, pneumocell as i talked uh, 10 strain uh, and then prevenar 13 and then synfloril and this will come for different prices these are the one which are available in market and we have to get from nol not all dr drug distributors keep them and sell them to doctors normally medicines are sold to licensed drug stores only but as doctor you can buy on your own registration number these vaccine from the wholesaler and then you can bill them or you can uh, administer them to children or adults and it is important to know which brands are available what name they are called because many times patients may not know that you know exact disease but they may talk about uh, a brand so we should be knowing about the different names even if it is written on the if some some doctor has given other doctor uh, has given prevenir and ideally same vaccine should be given in, in as booster dose so uh, we should be knowing if what this vaccine is about what it's uh, you know if it is called pneumocil what disease it deals with and one vaccine may come with different names so it is important to know these names these are the common pneumococcal vaccine so these are the uh, typhoid conjugate vaccines uh, type r and antroshield antrocyte product about they are they come with somewhat of you know uh, same price but you know antrocyte if somebody calls you do you have antrocyte or do you know what antrocyte is we should be knowing it is a vaccine for typhoid it is a conjugate vaccine for typhoid similarly 
टीबॉल टी सी वी इज ए कॉन्जिक वैक्सीन फॉर टाइफाइड तो वॉट डस दिस वैक्सीन फेसिवैक और प्रायोरिक्स दीज आर एम एम आर वैक्सीन तो वाइल वी नो एम एम आर बट वी शुड बी नोइंग वॉट नेम्स वॉट ब्रांड दे कम विथ and at what price and then only you can take tell the patient's price of the vaccine so all pediatricians know about these things and they routinely do these things so they will you know readily they will tell you about these vaccines these names but as family physicians we also have to know so mmr comes in private you know manufacturer as uh, tracivac so as i said earlier there are you know uh, multiple vaccines loaded in one injection so first one you see uh, dpt diphtheria tetanus pertussis uh, it is uh, it comes as uh, bostrix then uh, then addition of uh, uh, one more vaccine is hemophilus uh, influenza is uh, pentavac and then you see easy 6 which has six components so uh, it is 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 contains ipv injectable polio vaccine so these are the names we should be knowing and you know then only you can you know discuss uh, you know confidently with parents and you can know if somebody shows you the vaccination card you can explain that okay this vaccine has been given now this to be given because you know somebody has written these names and these Uh, you know brand names in the vaccination card and if you see and you are not able to understand what exactly it means so you know how can you provide the next dose or you know next scheduled dose or a booster dose unless you know what does it mean whether it contains six vaccines five vaccines four vaccine or three vaccines so it is important to know the names of these brands and i'm talking this from the practicality purpose uh this is a uh, uh, verilix for uh, pox and this is rotarix vaccine so rota rotavirus vaccine is not does not come in form of injection it is important that we know it is a it is a liquid vaccine but it is it has to be prepared it has to be mixed rotarix and how to prepare it you know it is very easy when i did first time i could do it easily and you have to prepare it with a syringe but it is not a injection so if you see injection with rotarix it does not mean it is a injectable vir- uh, vaccine it is a oral vaccine so this is the uh, first one is uh, biovac a is a hepatitis a vaccine as we saw in indian academy of pediatric vaccination schedule uh, it is recommended and then hepatitis b this comes both in adult and pediatric dose the one which you see an image is of adult vaccine uh, uh, it is a commonly used brand angerix and many times uh, when you see on the clinician prescriptions they will mention not hepatitis b vaccine but angerix first dose or angerix im or angerix so you know unless we know the names of these vaccines it is difficult for us to understand the prescriptions or uh, to Uh, prescribe confidently or to uh, explain to parents confidently so it is very very important that you search uh, names of all these vaccines and the types of vaccines and the variety of presentations and the prices so that you know these are the common questions anybody would ask this is uh, meningococcal vaccine uh, so this is what it looks like i'm just showing this is a uh, gardasil this spv uh, human papilloma virus vaccine to prevent cervical then this influvec uh, this is inactivated influenza vaccine so these are the you know some of the vaccines and we should be knowing about the prices their wholesale price then only we can decide on retail price and our own service price this is oral oral polio vaccine so this is again available it is a multiple dose Uh, vaccine so uh, it has to be uh, you know we, no, we should know what it looks like so again types of injections so intradermal intravenous intramuscular subcutaneous just as a reminder so thank you all